Today is National Weed Appreciation Day, a day to remind us that some weeds are actually beneficial to us and our ecosystem. But what weeds are good and which ones are bad? Well, if you ask gardening expert Jenny Rosencrantz with the University of Maryland Extension Office, she will probably say the native ones, and that is what we are talking about today, native plants, right. not necessarily weeds, right? Well, you know, a weed is just a plant that doesn't have a good press agent. Oh, <laughs> you know, okay, so there, you go. there you go, there you go. And some of the weeds that are out there right now, the, the winter annuals are so beautiful, but they're only annuals, so I'm gonna talk about other things like beautiful native plants. Okay, <laughs> okay. all right. So, um, the neat thing about native plants is uh, whether they're herbaceous perennials like these be beautiful spring beauties or shrubs or trees, they just bring so much more to us rather than just the beauty of the plants. Uh, the whole ecology of them say that they support a lot of things, not only the beneficial insects, they support uh, the birds, they support a lot of the, the, the critters. I mean, I, I know we go, oh Lord, there's the deer eating my hosta. Houses are not native plants. There's a lot of native plants that they will not eat, including my flocks. Yeah. So it's good to know that native plants are really, really important. Yeah. And I, I love lots of different plants, but having native plants kind of keeps the whole ecology together right. so that the plants work with the, the surrounding critters, that, all the beautiful birds that we have, that sort of thing. And uh, there's a, a gentleman that's giving a talk about that and how how they work together as the ecology of it. And that's Dr. Doug Talame. And he is actually an entomologist, but he's also an ecologist. He looks at the fact that this bug that, you know, uh, needs to pollinate these flowers, like is a swallowtail butterfly. Um, what else does that swallowtail butterfly need? And he would look into that rather than just go, oh, look at this really pretty here. So it's nice to know how the different herbaceous perennials, shrubs and trees can coexist yeah. and, and help all these different beautiful you know, insects that we have and, and the birds. He did a really cool topic with the birds where um, he had bluebirds and he put a camera and he watched how many times the bluebirds went back and forth, back and forth, back, bringing back caterpillars. They are a wonderful control of a lot of these caterpillars. So like in the springtime we have the uh, eastern tent caterpillar Everybody gets all upset about that. The what, birds. I, I call that a webworm. Is that the yeah, same thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, it makes a lovely web. So yeah. I say open the web up, let the birds come in. They have those babies to feed. Oh and it's goodness. wonderful. And the, they then in turn do a lot of other good things for us. So it's letting nature help us. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. See, I'd always burned that thing off. I didn't realize I should oh, really open no. it I just stay away no, from no. it because I think it's kind of creepy. Oh, it looks, it, it can <laughs> look creepy and it can look really imposing. But if you open it up, oh my goodness, those little caterpillars go, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And the yeah. birds go, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's a butterfly buffet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically you can have the native plants and they can be beautiful and they Absolutely. can help the ecosystem at the same yes, time. Yes, yes. And so there's this wonderful uh, conference that they're having, the uh, Coastal Bays, as well as the Lower Shore Land Trust, are hosting this. Uh, it's April the 14th mm -hmm. at the uh, Ocean City Yacht and um, Golf, Golf Course. And Yacht yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, Doug Talamay is going to be talking about how you can go ahead and plant native plants and then be helping the whole ecology of your yard. So, starting with one yard. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, Doors yes. open at 4.30 and you must pre-register. We'll have a link on our website wonderful. so you can find out how. Wonderful. Jenny, yeah. thank you. You're yeah. welcome. Oh my so fascinating. There you go.